Welcome back to another video and today I got Sierra over just chilling like I know. Hey man, welcome back to the channel, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Anywho, so uh, you guys saw from the title of this video that we're gonna be doing the hood, we're gonna be doing the fender. So hopefully you guys will be seeing that on this video, and hopefully the wrap should be coming in, and we'll get this thing fully wrapped up in the next couple of videos. But first off, guys, this thing's looking super clean. Shout out to Shine Armor once again. This thing's looking super clean. Um, but speaking of not so clean, yeah. His, his engine bay. So, <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead. Uh, he, the last thing, I don't know if you guys saw the last, I don't think I uploaded this video to be honest. I, I put a lot of work into this and we figured out, you know, we placed a blow up out, charge pipe, into, uh, intakes, even all these lines, uh, just to make sure everything is good. And we replaced everything and everything was fine. So, um, there's still a boost leak, there's still a Vanoss code. So, the last thing we could think of is a camshaft sensor. So, we ordered two from eBay. Um, there's one right here and then there's also one right there. So, we're just gonna go ahead and take it out. Hopefully, it's not be too hard it's angled kind of weird you know bmw's are but hopefully we can do it guys i just pulled out the sensor this thing came out like butter like i didn't even pull it out like when i took out the screw the whole thing just fell out so i think there could be a leak from the sensor this gas gets rock hard hold up oh that's not a gasket. <laughs> that shit just disintegrated. You might need to go down to BMW real quick and pick up two gaskets. You could just need a gaskets and these sensors and I might actually fix something. So I saw in the video you have to kind of pry it out. Obviously it's supposed to do with the gasket. The gasket's supposed to seal it. So that's not even sealing it. It goes in and out. So that's not gonna do anything. We're heading out right now. Uh, the O-rings are complete trash. Even the ones that came with them, because they're eBay ones, the O-rings are garbage. We need to get like OEM O-rings. I need to see if they're thick. If they're not thick, I'm not even gonna get them. But if they are thick, it's uh, it's gonna help us out. Hopefully that's the problem, bro. They gotta be slim thick. That'd be awesome. <laughs> Check out those taillights in that 430i. Damn, is that the one y'all telling me to get? I might have to cop those. M8 competition. Is this some competition? Dude, look at this interior. Oh my god, push buttons right there. That is crazy. Guys, the new interiors are looking insane. Look how look how it popped. Dude, I'm gonna have to cop one. <laughs> oh my god, dude, I'm so that's a red interior. Oh, this is a 435. I think it's a 435, right? 440i, basically. Red seats. Oh my god, I might have to do it. I might have to send it. Should I get red seats, guys, or orange seats? Let me know because uh, you know my steering wheel is orange and my whole car is orange. I'm gonna have to do orange. We'll see. I don't know, but this is crazy, dude. So pretty much we're gonna head down and see if they got the gaskets. Hopefully they got them because I mean we have they have two, right? Yeah. Guys, all I said is, like, can I get a discount? And uh, the discount happened. So hopefully, <laughs> we'll get them for that discount price. Yeah. And then uh, we'll head over and fix this car. <laughs> Guys, look at the BMW parking only sign. I love BMW. My God. Yeah, guys, this is a 335D M Sport. Check that out. That looks crazy. I don't even know what that pocket does. Let me know what that does down below. Anywho, let's jump in my brother's car and uh, head home. Where'd you get that from, bro? A BMW. <laughs> we got a drink, a bar. <laughs> we only paid six dollars worth in gas. Where's the gaskets at? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, guys, these gaskets are so much thicker. These are definitely the way to go. And then he also got a drink and everything. Get his money's worth. <laughs> Then I'm also helping my boy out. <laughs> yes, <sir>. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get back to work. I don't know if you guys can see the differences, but these are way better. And you shouldn't have any leaks too. This will prevent the leaks because I, I saw some like this thing is drenched, you know? All right, that's a good fitment. All right, let's go pull out that last one. We should be good. All right, guys, with the new gasket, this thing went in so nicely. So hopefully, uh, I just needed some new gaskets, a new sensor, and that should fix your two codes. I'm not really too sure. We're, gonna, we're about to find out. So, uh, moment of truth. So the, there's an exhaust 
uh, camshaft sensor and then there's like the upper camshaft sensor. At least maybe it's called a camshaft and then an exhaust are paired together. So we replaced both of them. The one on the top, which was the camshaft sensor itself, pressure sensor, something like that, actually had a pretty snug fitment. So I'm pretty happy with that. The one on the bottom did not have a snug fitment at all. We used a bigger gasket. So I don't know what's going on with that. Hopefully that's not what we're looking for anyways, but regardless, that is an, an issue. Um, maybe I'll try out my brother's sensor on his car and we'll have to see, but, uh, cause you know, my brother does have a warranty and all that good stuff, but we'll see. Let's take it for a dust bin. All right guys, so we just came back from AutoZone and it came out to be the P0015 exhaust camshaft timing, retard, whatever. So basically, it, it, when I look it up, it says Vanos or camshaft. We replace all of those. So if you guys can help us help us out with that, that would mean the world. We're actually gonna take this car for a diagnostic in about two days. And uh, you know, we did everything we could. Let's just get a professional, check it out, and hopefully it's something minor. Hey guys, good morning. This is day two, and actually, it's actually not day two, this is day three. Yesterday we had uh, pretty much a fa family gathering and all that stuff, so you know, I had to help with that. And then today, finally got some time to work on Miss Copper right here. So Miss Copper is getting a new hood. Unfortunately, the fenders looks like it's gonna take a little bit of time, so I think that's gonna be the next video, both fenders, and then we're gonna hopefully try to get the whole car wrapped up in the front end and then slap on the car fiber spoiler so if you guys want to see all that in the near future as in like the next video smash that like button without further ado the I, I i i shout out to him for waking up early you know <laughs> this is so tight i don't I, I told him i have to record this i have to get the hood on for you guys i don't want to upload a video of just working on sears car and not get you guys the hood at least in this video so i was like let me get this on the video and then um we'll work on the alignment the fitment and everything if we need to a little bit later and i'll get the video out for you guys today so without further ado um let's check out the hood so i got I got this hood from Souvenir, the same exact company as uh, Thick F30s. Uh, he keeps getting these hoods. Like he keeps, he got it for his F30, his M2, and I think he may have gotten it for his M3. And check out right here. This is the best part. I didn't get an M4. I didn't get an M3. I didn't even get a GT. I got a GTS hood. This hood is gonna be insane. So you ready for the zig? I'm ready. All right, let's just pop this hood out. Let's see how it looks, and then uh, we'll take off my hood, swap all the hardware over, and then uh, permanently install this hood. If anyone needs a space gray hood in perfect shape, hit me up. Guys, so we just opened up the hood. He showed a little piece that came off of it. That's a little vent piece, I think, for the hood, which is gonna be insane. I think it actually vents through. That is so sick. Oh my God, no way, dude. So yeah, let's go ahead and open up the rest of this hood. This looks like a giant pizza box, honestly. <laughs> we should ship out a pizza in this thing, dude. You wanna do it? Nah, that's, that's, that's not what my channel's about. But you know, all these challenge videos on YouTube and stuff. Anywho, um, let's go ahead, uh, flip this hood over, and then cut it open, and then get this hood out. I really wanna see it. Shout out to the packaging. This is like just as good as Keys Motorsports packaging. I respect Keys and Sylvaneer. Honestly, you guys are doing a great deal. So this is the hood again with the packaging check that out great job and uh, I think this stuff really doesn't matter I think I just took some primer layers so I think they just did that to smoothen out the hood I mean it is smooth as butter so other than that this hood looks amazing pretty much ready for wrap yeah none of that stuff actually affects it I think it's just get cleaned off too so oh my god dude it's like it has like an indent from the center a little hole here and a lump there Dude, that's crazy. Yeah, this I don't I don't honestly like the little cutouts on the sides and stuff. I think it's a little too much, and I don't like carbon. So this is like this is I think it's called metal. It's just made out of regular ass metal. So um, I hope this is gonna come out sick. I'm pretty sure it's gonna come out sick. Let's go ahead and install it. First, thing you gotta do is go ahead and uninstall this one real quick. Alright guys, when replacing a hood, be careful when you remove uh, the windshield washer. I broke a couple of the clips, so I'm gonna have to figure out another method to hold all these up because I know clips are like five to six dollars a piece and I broke like four of them. So I'm not trying to drop like 30 bucks on clips right now. Anywho, I'll probably pick that off a car when I see it one day. But as for now, I got pretty much most of the hardware on. I'm missing the adjuster levels right here from that hood. So I'm gonna have to remove this in another video and remove the other one in another video. I don't got much time. I gotta go ahead and go upstairs and edit the video, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the fitment. And let's just say I'm really happy with it. All right guys, here goes nothing. Three, two, one. Hey guys, check out that fitment. I think the gap is really, really, really good. So that's all the way across there. On the side, 
it's flush. I pretty much adjusted it. Now, as you guys can see, the hood does have a little wave right here. It has like basically it's a straight instead of a curve, but that's the only flaw that I saw. It's flat here, which is my biggest, like I always find issues here with hoods, aftermarket is, but this came out really good. This also came out really good. And then like I said, the line right here, and then the fitment again for the rest of it's really good. Um, something that I am noticing is that my little scoop here is getting pushed out from my intake. So I have to figure out a way to get these two to work together. But yeah, my intake is pushing up my little uh, scoop here. So uh, yeah, see that's a little posh up. But I have to play with this for a little bit. I'm sure I can figure it out. Overall, fitment of the hood is amazing. Here's a little overview of the car with the new hood. Hopefully I'm gonna be getting this hood wrapped up with the new fenders. If you guys wanna see both fenders get done and then the car fully wrapped up with the carbon fiber light, make sure to smash that like button. We can go ahead and bag out and do all that good stuff. It'll take a lot of cool photos because I am super hyped for this hood. Oh my God, like honestly, guys, just look at this hood. I think Souvenir sells this particular hood for like $700, which is actually really affordable. So if you guys wanna get this hood, I'm gonna have a link down below. But yeah, remember, let's get this video to 1200 likes and I will go Go ahead and release a video on both fenders and wrapping it and putting the carbon fiber loop on and everything. So 1200 likes guys. All right guys, I love y'all so much. Remember to cop some merch in the crate. I'm pretty sure the hoodies are sold out. I got like one or two shirts. If you guys want to cop a shirt, still got one or two left by the time this video goes down. And then we have a few more crates. If you guys are trying to cop a crate, check them out down below. Without further ado guys, I love y'all so much. Remember to stay humble. i see you guys in the next one. Peace out. The devil in the red dress,